Hey, what's going on, vets? All right, let's get into this. So I had a comment left on a video, as normal, where someone asked me about uh, living for yourself or living for someone else. How can you tell the difference? Look, I'm no expert when it comes to stuff like this. I just know from experience, the way I have been living and the way I live now makes you think a lot of times, and people always say this to themselves, what the hell was I thinking, right? <laughs> It's one of those things, man, where you realize you have this epiphany that have I been living for myself or am I living for other people? And the more times you think about things that you've done, things that you purchase, things that you do, you realize a lot of times you're not really living for yourself. You're actually living, trying to impress other people. You know, this is where talking to a psychiatrist at the Department of Veterans Affairs or through uh, Social Security, where you're sitting there and you're laying it all out, picturing it in your head in the past things that you have done. Well, sometimes things from the past is a teaching lesson for us in the future. Because I know for myself, I have bought cars, I bought all kinds of stuff, and it just, I'll sit there sometimes and think like, man, why in the world am I wasting all my money on this crap? And a lot of times, I don't even like it. I'm getting it because I want to show off to other people. And it's like, for what reason? You know, the mark of having good friends and good family around you is when you're not there, they always have something good to say about you instead of having something negative to say about you. So I've learned from that. You know, I take all the different life experiences I've had of dealing with people and dealing with situations and clear my head of a lot of it and start thinking of things that actually make me happy. So instead of thinking and contemplating, man, I wonder what people are gonna think if I do this, do it for you. You can't worry about what everybody else thinks or how they're gonna feel. It's your life. You're the one that needs to be happy. And then all of a sudden, this light bulb goes off and you realize, wow, so if I do things for me, that's going to make me happy. I don't have to worry about anybody else's feelings, what they may think. Let me get up and go out and do something different. And then you realize that all this time you've been stuck in your own head thinking about what other people think about you instead of you living for you. Once you start living for yourself, your life's gonna change. I know my life has. I used to think, man, there's no way you should travel and do all these things by yourself because who you gonna confide in? Who you gonna talk to? The local people that are there. You can still live a great life wherever you decide to live it, whether you're staying in the States or you're going abroad, it doesn't matter. But you gotta live for you. you. Can't live for other people. As long as you're doing it safely, healthy, and keep keeping your mind clear of any BS, you'll be absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. I was also tell you guys that if you have been seeing a psychiatrist and you stop, you probably should go back and just open up, let them know how you feel how you're thinking about things because a different set of ears from someone who doesn't really know you could op open you up to different adventures that you may want to take, that you may want to do, but you've been holding yourself back because of fear, fear of the unknown. Time to stop, man. As we get older, our clock is ticking. Some of us are in the end of the third quarter. Some of us are in the, in the, entering into the fourth quarter and we're letting life pass us by and we don't want to have regrets. That's the last thing you want to have is regrets of not going to see it, not doing it, not fulfilling a dream that you have. Why? Out of fear, a lot of times, the fear of the unknown. So what I would say to you guys, man, is live the best life you can live. Don't worry about the next man because the next man is not buying your airline tickets. They're not purchasing that house you've always wanted. They're not buying that car that you've dreamed about. They're not doing any of those things but being negative 
because a lot of times they can't have it, so they don't want you to have it. But you don't have to listen to any of that. As long as you're financially okay with doing whatever purchase you want to make and whatever life dream that you have, fulfill it. And let that be your calling for whatever time that you got left on this earth. And with that being said, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching as always. I'm out. Peace.